I tell these girls to risk, fail, fail miserably. You set the frequency on there to the same frequency on here. a little bit about the, hand, the roadblocks, I think, for girls in STEM. I think we're on a path to do great things around girls and women, but we're not there yet. I see it every day with girls. When girls stop raising their hand in fourth grade because they're getting cues from people in their classroom that they shouldn't be raising their hand to answer a math question, these girls are craving an opportunity to see women in the roles that they aspire to. This is a really important, um, a really important field for you and the Girl Scouts, why? We found that 74% of high school girls love STEM. They actually enjoy it. But then we asked them to rank their potential career goals and STEM careers were at the bottom. And then we asked, so why? And they said, because we don't see the females in those positions, so we don't know what it's like. When we asked them, what is it like to be a scientist, they have an image of an older man in his 60s in a white lab coat. That's right. not fun to them, that's not exciting. What we do in Girl Scouts is we bring those female mentors who are already in those roles to show the girls it's as easy as building a robot in water and translating that experience to a future career. So Girl Scouts has partnerships with Google, with Dell, Motorola Solutions. Um, how has that been with the companies, with the private sector, trying to help, I guess, feed the brains, feed the STEM brains of the future, female STEM brains of the future? Well, it's a, a few different avenues they're taking first. They clearly understand that there's a workforce issue, right? They're trying to create avenues of business and they're having a very hard time finding individuals to hire that have a STEM background. And so what we're trying to do is connect with those companies and say, listen, it's not only the right thing to do, it is the perfect thing to do for our economy, for the future of this country. We talked about how girls, women, we need more in STEM and more uh, in Silicon Valley. Let me ask you a different diversity question. Um, you have a policy that's four years old. It's only now starting to get attention, um, accepting transgender youth into the Girl Scouts. Are you surprised by the reaction? Well, first of all, we've been a very inclusive organization for over 100 years. It's part of our DNA. We're very proud to serve every girl in almost every zip code in the country in over 90 countries in the world. We're proud to do it and we'll continue to do so. The leadership that goes along with the STEM and the skills here, tell me about that. Well, there's a direct correlation between our Girl Scout program and the fact that you have a full leadership at the Senate, at the House, in the governor's positions that are filled with Girl Scouts. And it's because it starts at a very early age with Girl Scouts. At the age of five, we're teaching them about working with other people, bringing people around an issue, solving it, taking action, and not thinking about, oh, I'm not old enough, I don't have enough resources. We as adults need to understand that our voice is powerful, and whatever we say around girls, they're listening, and they're looking for those cues. So we've got to tell them they're great, they're energetic, they have, a, they have a purpose in life and they have to help people get to a bigger place in their roles as well.